bam, bam, ba, down. Theme song. It is uh, a particularly still winter in 1728, and uh, another house is completed in Solidham. Solidheim? I keep forgetting. Uh, hopefully this not enough food for sale debuff will go away so we can get some more folks in here, and then they can make some more food to sale. To sale, you heard me. Uh, I'm also wondering if maybe we need to start uh, looking into another market stall. Something like that could be good. We do have nine jobs for dudes, seven jobs for ladies uh, still open here. So we do need to get a few more people in even just to get to uh, sort of a, a nice, a decent level of employment. But that doesn't really stop us from building things like the trading dock, which I think will open up some more opportunities for us. So I kind of want to be around for that. And then, of course, we'll get some more village houses going. I think this farm should maybe be bumped up in its importance. However, even just the people we have here is still probably not going to be enough uh, to run this for a full harvest. So maybe we're not so worried about getting another farm up and running just yet when maybe we want the windmill, we want the stone mining camp. Uh, first. So there's a lot to do, a lot to get done here in Solid Ham. And yet we still have people. I mean, I'm sure she's on her break. This little babushka over here. Not that old, though. Uliana Cherenchenko. Doing pretty good. Educational level is one, but we're working on... Wait, does she teach at the primary school? Oh, that's the teacher. Okay, great. So she has a fair number of students now. The students are growing, and you love to see that. You love to see the growth of the students in this wonderful little town here. Love these. I think I might make more of these pine trees because they are certainly looking quite nice as they start to grow in and around uh, some of our structures here in Ostrive, one of the best games ever made. I really do. I kind of I, I believe that. Now, uh, a couple of you have left some wonderful hints here. Uh, Rakesh, one of the original subscribers, maybe like number 10, I don't even know, says, solid con as usual, thank you very much. But a hint, you can buy all the food for your citizens and sell them on the market to them again for a higher price or the same. That should fix the issue with the different food. You can go in your granary and push the buy from citizen button. So if we go to this granary here, I actually haven't seen that before. Copy resources to another granary, okay. Take from another from other granaries. Okay, we can add resources here that we want. Resource supply, higher options, higher women, da da da, labor's limit. Don't want to demolish it. Resource supply, make empty. Okay, I thought there was like a buy from, I, I don't know where this, what he's talking about. Uh, we're gonna look at this. You can click on buy from local producers. Why can't I see that button? To buy from your citizens. When the button is colored, enabled, uh, locals will bring their garden produce and get money from your treasury in return. The relative price is specified in the economy panel. Buying only possible uh, if there's a worker hired. Citizens will not sell to the granary is if it's too far uh, from their home. Or if they don't have at least a year's worth of food. I mean, that's just, that's just good thinking right there. So where am I missing here? And our women and labor's limit apply to all. Okay, take from other granaries... Make empty, destroy, higher options. Copy. So it must be here, but we don't have it or something like that. So what if I put something like, um, you know, beetroot? Uh, okay, here we go. I see. There we are. All right. So we could buy from local, and it's lit up. So we'll maintain uh, 40 in here of beetroot. And maybe... Um, well, what else, what else do they make? What else do they have? Carrots. Lots of beetroot actually available for sale, so that's kind of nice. Uh, cabbage, raspberries, raspberries. What is there made enough of that we could actually really go for it? I should buy some honey. That's what I should definitely buy and stock because that th those people are... I mean, they're going to be there are there some, some very rich people in this uh, town. So let's buy some honey. Let's keep that at like a 300. I don't know how much that's going to cost me. Um, but it's worth it. So we'll get this marketplace selling buckwheat, chicken eggs, and potatoes. Uh, meat, fish. Okay, yeah, I think we need another market then. So we need another marketplace so we can sell some of this other fun stuff. And then we want to have... Uh, okay, yeah, there we go. We want to have... Uh, maybe something like that. Actually, no, let's put it up with this one. We, we want to have... Eh, 
There we are. Enough other stuff being sold here so that they aren't just relying on the local produce to sell. But I think, yeah, it's quite silly that we haven't had this before. And uh, very good that somebody, you know, pointed it out. So we'll have beetroots being sold here, and we will have uh, honey being sold here, if I can find it. There we are. Then let's go with the usual. We'll go with chicken eggs, and uh, and let's do another clothing one here. Put a laborer in that, so that one's being hired. We'll see if anybody comes and starts staffing that one up. Actually, this one is not being staffed right now, and that sells clothes. So we're going to need to, yeah, we're going to need to get that staffed. So unfortunately, okay, there we go. We should have some folks move in now, so that's good. And the trading dock is the next thing up. Well, welcome to solid content and welcome to some nice calm Ostriv content. There is no conflict here. Aside from, you know, hopefully hopefully not starvation. I, you know, I don't want that to be the case. But uh, other than that, there should be no conflict here as we build a beautiful settlement to rival all of the other Ostrief settlements you might have seen while watching this game. Um, I might move... I kind of want to move this stone camp up, but again, I think village houses are pretty important. I'll move it up to here. Looks like some of the tree chopping is still going on there, so that's good. This village house is getting things delivered. It'll be nice to get this trading dock up. I don't think it'll be... I mean, we don't really need this right now. I should probably stop, but uh, here we are. We're just going to get it built. I've, it's been waiting for a couple of episodes now, so we we might as well get it built. Um, but yeah, it won't be useful until the summer, so it's going to be some months until we get that thing up and running. After letting it grow in for a bit, I'm really happy with how this boardwalk uh, looks. And uh, I... Yeah, I kind of want to, like, continue it forward here. Um, and again, lovely comments from all of you. Uh, I, I love that you're happy with how it's being decorated. If you have any hints or things you'd like to see, let me know, of course. Feel free. So we're going to build another water uh, thing there. I don't think we need this many. You know? We could probably put... I mean, this could even have another building here. I'm not sure what other kind of buildings we could have. We could have another boatyard, maybe. So another boatyard would fit right there if we wanted it. Kind of. It's a little tight quarters. And it might cause a, a, a pathing problem. But maybe we'll leave that open. Uh, I mean, again, we can just demolish this stuff later on. So that really doesn't need that much to get built. So we'll maybe we'll just put another one in here just for good measure. And then we'll do this fencing here between this and this. And I believe that was... Is it that fence? Yeah, that looks like that fence. So we'll go from here up to this kind of path here. Along and down. Very simple design. Very easy to do. And it just kind of, it just looks nice. It looks like, it looks like they've really thought out how they want this city to look. And we have. So we'll bring this one here. And kind of forward and like that. There we go. And then I believe we just had some like dog rose. Was it dog rose? Is that what it's called? Dog rose bushes. So we'll do this here. And then down to here. And another one up here. And across. Over to this. And then that'll just kind of... Yeah, that's like sort of a security. You know, we don't want folks in there. Be careful not to get too too messy. And, and that really does... It just frames up that boardwalk really nicely. So as those trees come in and more people are sitting on the benches and stuff... In fact, let's put another bench right here. Uh, I think we can do, go for a nicer bench. We're like... You know, we're not a poor... We're not a rich, you know, uh, 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 ancient town by any means, but we're definitely not a poor one either. Uh, dog roast bush. So, yeah, they were just sort of like little clumps of two. Slightly scattered. Maybe we'll put one like here and here, and then just like one loose one there. And we'll get that. Like a little clump of three I think would be nice there. And then maybe there's a tree right there. Okay, there we go. So maybe we've got like a little... I mean, I do like these spruce trees. The real question is, would a spruce tree grow right that, right close near the water? Usually the water, they're, you know, they're, they'd be back, you know, somewhere like here off the water. And then this would all be rocks in kind of a nice west coast riverside. Pine tree could go nice right there. But you know what? Again, we did plant it ourselves. This is kind of the storytelling, right? So let's get that tree right. Oh, do we want a tree that's big right there up front. Why don't we go for one of these ash trees that we've been building? 
just so it kind of matches the the terrain a little bit better so that's quite nice yeah and i'm going to want to con continue all that along here because i think that that's what a normal like a town would do right is they would build some sort of decorative sort of structure there sort of a little bit of like a you know hey maybe don't walk right here just come walk to the bridge it just looks much more homey especially near all the homes that looks really nicely you know worked in I think in the future, one thing we could do is take some of these houses apart, you know, propose relocation, and then demolish these, and then uh, put in some a, a cluster of houses. Things could get really, really uh, tight quarters in here. We could get quite a lot of houses in here uh, once we're able to feed them, of course. That's the main issue. Over here, our trading dock is nearing uh, some sort of a completion. Messenger from Blacklia is visiting now. Okay, what do they what do they want? They would like flour, which we can't make yet. We do have a lot of potatoes. We can make me make them some potatoes. And I'd like to get sunflower oil production up and running at this point. What do I have? Town storage of ten. Potato town storage zero. Okay, well we don't have anything to sell them right now. Uh metal parts, I guess. Town storage is sixty eight. We do have honey. Town storage is three hundred. It's a very, it's a fairly lucrative thing. If I sold 300, it's, it's 30 bucks if I sold all my town's honey. So I think I'm going to push through until we can sell massive amounts of uh, charcoal, which is very easy for me to make uh, and maintain. So I'd rather do that than sell off uh, the, the small amount of honey that I have spent uh, to stock, you know, in my town. I'd rather do that and then sell it back to my people than sell it off to Balaklia. But we're getting very close here to speed up time and watch the conclusion of the trading dock being built. I think some fencing is in order here to kind of make this a little more accurate, a little more feel like... I guess the term would be roughed in. There we are. Our trading dock is complete. I love it. It's going to need some workers. It's going to need a worker. I believe a boat... I believe it just, a ch it, it, it just gets boats, I assume. So the export stock here, we should probably start storing some... What kinds of things can we store? So, for example, this one has charcoal stored here. Not very much, might I add. Uh, there we go. So we should probably also have charcoal stored here, just in case. Why don't we do, like... Uh, oops. Uh, oops, heavens. Oh, heavens. Why don't we... <laughs> why don't we do, like... Let's do a thousand charcoal here, so it's ready at a at a at a thing like that. And and unfortunately, we just don't have uh, we don't have a temporary stock. Oh, interesting. We don't have a um, a surplus of anything yet. We're getting close. We have a surplus of wheat, I will say, uh, but I'd like to turn that to flour. Any resources traders can buy them. You can mark a resource as temporary stock by clicking on a corresponding button right from the resource. These resources will be removed from stock once sold and will not be refilled. Okay. Okay, great. So we won't constantly take, you know, the charcoal or whatever. Now, why is my charcoal not being served? Because we're down on laborers. Okay. Yeah, so we need some folks to move in. It looks like we just had a family move in. He's he's joined up at the local smithy. Oh, no, wait, this is a guy. He's a carpenter and, and she's a weaver. I guess we were down on carpenters. Good to have that carpenter back, so that'll make some more wooden planks. Yeah, we have a lot of open jobs here, and it's not getting filled. One thing I'd like to look at is we do have some fellas working here, and I got a comment a while ago that we need to be careful about uh, making jobs agnostic. So we do have two... We, we have one fella in here working here. So higher options. Let's turn off higher men. And let's fire Tiroslav. Unfortunately, we needed to do that because we need some of these fella jobs filled. <laughs> um, and maybe actually we're going to close down the trading dock for now. I know we finally got it built and it, it just, I wanted it because it looks really nice in the city. Um, but other than that, we need to hang on for a bit until we get the stock before we start doing some trading here. Our smithy is back up now to two workers, which is good. But I'd really like to get some... Uh, yeah, I don't know why we can't force somebody to work in the charcoal mines. Because that's kind of how we make some of our money, unfortunately, in here in Ostrif. In the meantime, though, we do have uh, more houses being uh, put to put to stone, put to put to construction. 
our stone mining camp. I'll probably move another village house up and uh, we'll unpause this one. Uh, yes, all of this stuff is very important to get built. Um, the windmill being one of them. However, I really want this stone mining camp. And uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing this farm go, you know, full tilt in the summer. Because that is, coupled with this farm, it's finally going to lead to some uh, nice food surpluses. Some nice abundance here in Solidam. February 17, 28, the snow is melting off the roofs and the grass around Ostreev, exposing some, some new desire lines carved out by our, uh, our wonderful citizens. And uh, marking another successful winter survival for my livestock, and we have increased the count, marking a little more confidence that our farming is, uh, is going to hold. Um, we're going to let this go for a few more seasons, but I think I might de redesign the farmland here. So we'll get the farms out this way more, and then this can be more uh, fishing around here, and then some pig styes in the middle, I think, is kind of the dream for this space here. However, it's getting a little trickier in this space because we have quite a lack of people. So if I'm going to have that much industry around here, I'm going to need some more housing. I think... I could probably stuff some houses up behind uh, this sort of working area. Again, I, I really like looking at this kind of fenced-in work area. Um, so I kind of want to finish that and sort of get a sense of, like... Let's take a look here. I obviously don't want to put too much in here, so I've shrunk it down a little bit. I think originally it was going to be quite a lot bigger. But I think if we go, like, something like this... Okay. Yeah, we're going to kind of meet it up here. There we are. Uh, but we don't... Yeah, we don't want to go too crazy with it. The only thing that I want to be careful about, though, is I am chasing off... I'm making it a lot harder, I guess, for the uh, uh, lumber folks, the choppers of the trees, to actually, like, access, you know, woods to chop. So they'd have to come around, out and around here, and then come back with their with their logs once they chop them. Well, they can chop over here as well. But again, it's you know, it's not like I don't know, not the best plan ever. Oh, that's also not the best design ever. Oh heavens. Um, but it's just kind of an aesthetic, you know. I like it being a little industrial. Well, you know what I could do actually is I could put a uh, an archway here, uh, allowing them access out to the back forest. So we'll put like a big arch here, maybe. No, let's put a small arch. I think you can still get most vehicles uh, through there, most carts and stuff. Although Istvan makes a nice comment here. You know, I was t I was worried about making my, you know, boulevards too big, and then I realized no, we could put we could put central, we could put stuff down the middle of some of these wider boulevards. These ones are are not bad. Like obviously, you can see quite a lot of people are using the entire street. But he makes a comment: How will cars fit on those tiny roads in 300 years? Right. And that's going to be some, you know, tough thinking there. That's going to be some, you know, obviously I and my families will be long gone by the time we get to somebody invents the automobile. There we go. But, uh, you know, and, and they'll have to deal with it. But it, it does it does lead to some thinking. Like, are should we be future-proofing to that level? Could you imagine if the developer of Ostrieve kept developing Ostrieve all the way up until... Uh, it had vehicles, like it just kept. He just kept adding, and then eventually he added in like a uh, a construction chain, an evolution of of construction. Oh my goodness! Obviously, I know we're waiting to build things, so we're gonna have to let things cook for a bit. But I'd also like to get in. Uh, I want to see where my. I think we have enough sunflowers that a an oil workshop. There it is. Uh, is in order. Now if I do this here. That's a lot of, like, fencing in the way, but we could do something like this and have, like, a... Although it's nice to... Yeah, that road, there's, like, a little bit of a pathway there that'll be nice. So we could just... Yeah, we're just going to have, like, layers upon layers of fencing here. And that's just what it is, and that's fine. <laughs> I think that's good placement. I don't mind that. Just give it one last check from all angles. Make sure that that spot is a good spot. I think this is a good spot. It's on a little bit of a rakish angle, but that's okay. I kind of I was hoping to be able to, like, squeak a few trees in back here once it's built. Like a cottonwood would be really good. How spicy can I get with it? Probably right there. Do, 
too close to another tree. That's fine. There we are. All right, so we'll get those two trees built in behind our eventual oil factory. That's feeling pretty good. This home is coming up, and I believe we only have two more trees left to remove before we can start building this one, so that's quite nice. Then our stone mining camp will start to get a little bit of love. It doesn't even need that many nails to get a stone mining camp up and running, but I'd like it to be available for me as soon as possible, so I, if I have... If I can eventually get some more people in here. I mean, I think really we need to turn on all of these village houses. And get these things going. And perhaps maybe... I mean, this farm is a, is somewhat well-placed. But I think we need to squeak some houses in and around this farm too. So we'll have to be careful about that. Because, yeah, like I said, if I want any more life happening on the south shore or this part of the island. Before we really make our big expansion then uh, I'm going to want to uh, densify some houses here. It took Yasnohor Kuchma uh, until April to get the next house done, but it's looking just about ready. I'm thinking back to... Oh, he's taking a break. Never mind. Well, somebody will come and finish it. Pavlo, I guess, is about done his rest. Uh, so he'll finish this. But it did take a while to get these houses done, and, and that is a reminder that, yes, things do move slow in Solid Ham, especially when Solid is the one playing. But there we are. Everything's in the green, so that should attract a new family uh, fairly soon. And I believe, yep, our construction is now able to finish on this house, which now currently has all of the trees uh, removed out of the area. We welcome the Kilkos in to the uh, beautiful home. Looking good. A wealth of 25.27. I, I feel like that's good. They don't have any jobs yet, but they will definitely get them soon. Uh, we need all of the help that we can get, except for, uh, wait, Oluyubov. Oh, they come in with a 28-year-old uh, kid who I assume will... I mean, she will most likely... I guess she's working around the private garden. Fine. But she will most likely want to go get a job as well and maybe even find a home. Maybe maybe she could live across from her parents in this new, brand new cottage-style home going up across the street. One thing with this street that we must never forget is that these folks also deserve beauty. So let's place some benches and uh, let's get in some uh, some nice little spots where they can kind of stop and and uh, consider the lilies, if you will. So I put one here, maybe here and here, and then what do we? What's our normal kind of thing? Ash trees, and I think oh, I like this little garden I built. Okay, so we'll build a little like side garden like that. Although, how do you even get in there? Oh, I see. I just didn't cap it off at one end or something, I think. Okay, good to know. But I think it goes benches and some dogwood tree and some trees in the middle. Okay, so that looks basically kind of whatever we want. As you can see, they were a much needed uh, addition to the neighborhood because there, people are already sitting in them. So we'll go ash tree, ash tree, and then we'll get some dog rose bushes here and here. And then maybe something uh, nice like a little birdhouse. There we are. Construction complete, birdhouse, good. I think we should do the same thing here. Maybe one bench uh, right here. You know, and then I I hope that these benches don't provide distractions. You know, I'm not sounding, I'm not trying to sound uh, or come off at all like a Puritan, but I just want to make sure that with these benches and things that people aren't, uh, you know, eschewing uh, their work, so to speak. Let's put one here. And then one in between here. And then maybe this area is a, a good candidate for a little mini garden here. So we'll go with fence three. No, uh, I think it's we should go with fence one. Yeah. Let's go with fence one just off, off the edge here. Oh, place is occupied, so we can't really do that. That's fine. We'll go... Something like so. Now that might be a little too... That might tighten up everything a little bit too much. I think we should go with uh, Istvan's uh, previous uh, tip, which is we got to get these. We have to keep some width here. Maybe not for cars, but there are wagons in the game. We've got to be ready for that. Uh, nicer bench here. There we are. And, of course, the old uh, uh, a dog rose bush here and here. Perhaps another uh, ash tree right here. I like to think that, again, because you have to remember, these folks, uh, as far as they know, this is the modern times. These are the modern ages for them. 
So I, w I like to think that when they see these ash trees that are purposely planted along these boulevards, that they think to themselves like, ah, nice modern tree, you know? I, I You know, they probably think it looks like the future. It looks, you know, downright futuristic, one could say. So we'll get that boulevard all prettied up and maybe, uh, I guess we should finish it off down here as well. They've earned it. They've moved in. They've paid their dues. They've shown up. They've begun gardening. And I think some nice dogwood bushes across from, like, near these beehives would help, uh, you know, give these bees something to do. So first we'll populate it with some ash trees here, here, and here. And then some bushes, hopefully with some nice flowers for the bees. Oh, well, doesn't that just look nice now? Maybe we need some more trees, like a birch tree around here or something. A birch tree around this corner here. We need to tree this in a bit more. Can I build? I can't build on their land, but I could build... Um, maybe we should build some sort of like a corner berm or something, yeah? What do you think of that? What if it was like... Something like... I don't know. I'm, just, I'm kind of making it up right now. But it could be something like this. I don't know. I mean, we're you know, we're making it up, but it could it could be kind of nice to have that. Now it's all a little too tight, though. Um, but it just kind of creates a little more movement space, a little more like oh, ah, it's coming out too far though. That's the problem. So maybe it's a corner berm, yes, but it's primarily just. A nice big spruce. Can they still walk underneath that thing? It comes down a little low. That's too late. A worker is planting it already. In <laughs> worst case scenario, if we don't like it, we can always just chop it down. There we are. So that's just a nice little corner berm here to help uh, shore up some of this. Maybe we do some benching along here. It looks like they're not even using this uh, space to walk. So that's a pretty good hint uh, that this space is ripe for a decoration. Um, and again, this is absolutely no uh, ill uh, anger or whatever meant towards uh, the wonderful developer of Ostrieve, but I really, I'm, 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 I've, got, I've got a hankering uh, for more um, design elements, more decorative design elements. Maybe there's a pine tree next to this spruce there. Maybe there's a pine tree here as well. I just kind of want this whole area to fill in a little more because it's nice, but it is row upon row of a beehive and that's it. So we might as well give them some nature around to kind of justify why they have all that going on. So this is feeling a lot better here. It looks like, I oh, I can kind of get one. Yes, thank you. And then maybe we need a uh, birdhouse uh, right there. A little bit of a corner like that. You know what I would love is a... It would be so nice to see a... Um, oh, can I not build that? It would be so nice to see, like, a, an Ostrieve-type game, but for a castle. I would love to build just a Mott and Bailey with some farmland outside of it. Maybe that's a mod that some people could do for Ostrieve. I don't know. That seems like a lot of work, I guess. <laughs> Just like this next village house seems like it's been putting these two constructors through the ringer for a while. Now these two, what did they find jobs doing? A laborer, which is always nice. That means, yes, there we go. We have a charcoal pile. One of them uh, is good. So thank you for coming here and basically saving the bedrock of my economy. Melana has not been able to find a job. We'll open up that farm job there and we'll make sure that this marketplace, the marketplace has hired a fella. So I think what we need to do, unfortunately, is fire that fella, Voloshian. I need to fire you, sir. Because there are uh, fella jo men, men jobs that need filling. Uh, primarily, well, the trading dock is okay right now. But I could use another builder. And we could use more laborers working on things like... Oh, there we go. So now we have a lot of laborers. That's good. Okay. Uh, we do have... Four jobs for the ladies, seven jobs left for men. No housing available, but we do have enough food for sale. So as soon as this one's done, more folks will surely be moving in. I'm going to even maybe unpause these 
and start moving them down the chain. Because, yeah, I don't think we even need to worry about getting another farm up and running just yet. No sooner than when this house was completed, May 1728, than it was filled immediately by some locals. I'm fine with that. I guess they want to start uh, their own family, so that's good. We'll, we'll, we'll hopefully make another kid, but it does look like, yeah, they've been living with their parents for quite a long time. So that's another thing I need to think about is the fact that uh, we have a lot of... Uh, <laughs> um, a lot of folks waiting to move out. Now, it does look like that means that they were allowed to get jobs right away. Like, is my market stall fully... Yeah, I think that's her. Zoluya. No, Torcalo. Okay, so somebody... Else, so she was somewhere else. She already had... That's the Torcalo. So she kind of already had... No, that is the new one. Okay, so she did take this job as soon as she moved out. So I wonder if these... Where is this 28-year-old here? So is... Wait, oh, she, wait. Loyubov, just as I predicted, did move across the street from her parents. Oh, well, that's nice to see her move across the street. So it's hard to tell if she actually did um, not have a job before living there. Let's see if I can find any others. That's a two-year-old there. They don't have any kids yet. Mikola is 18 years old and has now moved into this house. Okay. So anybody who's stuck at home but too old, my concern there... Miroslav lives here now. Unemployed. He's 17, though, so maybe it's when they're 18. So Miroslav is just, like, wherever he is. He's just... I guess he's hanging out. He's hanging out in that other house. So, okay, Alina, this is a good example here. It looks like there's an icon over her head that's like, oh, I would... Oh, she has a house. Oh, I'm so confused. <laughs> yeah, they all seem to be finding their home, so that's good. Uh, and it did seem to help with our uh, employment. So, you know, hey, you're, you're, we're learning. We're learning. But I think that does leave... Yeah, that's right. The stone mining camp has begun its construction. This one will be a fairly easy uh, structure to build. So we'll get that up right away. Then we can go on to another house, the windmill. And uh, maybe we're going to have to move some more houses forward here. And maybe another village house. we got to unpause that one. We're going to need more houses ASAP. So I think down here, this area here, there's a farm, yes, but maybe it's time for houses. Maybe it's time to experiment with houses that don't have any land. Let's take a look at what our options are here. These are two spouses, their parents, unmarried children, children old enough, they can create their own families if more houses are provided. Older people who live alone can move to their children. Okay, that's good. So if a house has a garden, they can make their own food, which is good. The products from citizens are purchased in granaries at trading posts. Uh, village house residents heat their homes with firewood, which they buy at nearby stalls. Okay. So, if I were to make some village houses without any land, we could get them much closer together in a little kind of community here. However, it is entirely incumbent upon me to provide them enough food. So I might have to like, you know, maybe I buy some more uh, here so that I can sell it at the market stall. Uh, do we try it? Do we build a little like micro, like a little dense community here? You know what? It could be our experiment. We could do that and just to see how, you know, how it works. You know, if it works. Uh, the other thing we could do though is build some with small yards, tiny, tiny yards. Maybe just enough that they could could build their own, you know, like garden a few things here and there. So why don't we actually just do that? We begin experimenting with, with you know, micro, micro suites, I guess you could say. Now this person's going to have a nice view of, of the river. So we'll bring this in. Make it quite tiny because we'll get another one in right here. This is perfect. Okay. So something like that. It could be a little longer, I guess. Yeah, that's still a bit of a yard. So, I mean, at the end of the day, no, we aren't building a small micro community to, like, see how it works. <laughs> but that's okay. I kind of like this one. So let's start construction on that one. Let's build us another one connected to that. Something like this here. F1. There we are. Good. 
And then this one, just to maximize growing space, you know? You don't really want to... Can't build on water. Uh-oh. Uneven terrain. <laughs> okay. It's pretty upset with my, all my placements so far. Oh, I think it's just this, though. Yeah, there we go. Okay. What if it had, like, a, a large yard? Looks kind of nice. I don't hate that. Sort of a triangle yard like that. I don't know. It's kind of fun. We'll see what they do with it. We'll see if they like it. So let's start building that one. And we'll go and put another one in right here. This one will also have a yard. A yard. A large yard. I cannot speak right now. With a little bit of an alley here. We'll bring this maybe down like... Oh, we can bring it right down to that. Oh, that's kind of fun. Okay, great. Then we'll have this. Uh, we're going to need to move it, I think, so that folks can actually get around to the garden. That might be a little... Uh, no, there's probably enough room. So we'll just shove it up right against the fence there. Right against the fence line here. There we go. There, so that's an interesting use of space. And I ended up just like, I, I think I liked the idea of just building that fencing there uh, right near this farm. So that's good. There's still a little bit of a path here along if people want to walk along there. And then maybe we need to fence this off with something. Or, you know, what we could do is build even a, just a market stall or two. Because right now, this area here, it's hard to tell how well this market stall serves, like these homes over here. But this is starting to get a little bit far out. So we can stuff some, like, market stalls here, but that's also kind of uh, out of the way. People would have to know to go there. At any rate, I kind of like this little community, so I'm looking forward to seeing that grow. Uh, but first, our stone mining camp, and then some uh, of these pre-designed homes as well. July of 1728, and the first structure across the river is completed, our stone mining camp. Uh, it's only going to allow us to hire... Oh, it hires everybody. Workers. Laborers. Workers. Uh, I'm not 100% sure there. I think it'll just be fellas. Click to order a cart. So let's order a couple of carts there. I mean, we might as well order... For all just all the carts. <laughs> uh, that'll just make our lives easier when we eventually have some workers there. It does look like, yeah, primarily uh, jobs for men, but... Uh, who would want to do this backbreaking work anyway? Right near a, a somewhat, I would say a small but scattered, oh, that's a fairly, I mean, a medium but scattered stone deposit. So, so hopefully that's enough stone. Um, like, I mean, for example, we've got 800, 1,000, and another 900. So these three little stone piles, most of that will be gone. Uh, just trying to get this one church built. But I would like to build the church. I know it's not necessary uh, so early in the, uh, in our game here, we're only technically four episodes in. I might want to re, rethink how it's placed, to be honest with you. It looks like, a looks like I, if my, <laughs> my thinking fell apart a little bit there. Well, I mean, I guess it was early days when I built it. So, uh, let's actually, let's demolish it. Demolition completed. The church. Ugh. Okay, there we go. It's gone. So they're probably upset that the plans for the church have been removed. But don't worry. You know, it's coming right back in. And I think it must just be, yeah, the, just to the general look of it maybe uh, made it look like it was going to be on a bit of a rakish angle. So we could do uh, control, hold it down a little bit there, something like that. Because, like, I feel like that looks quite nice. Maybe we got to rotate it just a bit more. There, and then back it up a little bit there. Okay, yeah, that's going to look quite nice once it's built. So we can do something like that. And, yeah, see, that looks a little more organized. Now, it looks like there's quite a lot of room on the back end, but that's okay. I think once it's built, maybe we'll put some trees down here once we know the actual uh, dimensions of it, because I don't want to go too crazy just yet. But, yes, it would be nice to get this built uh, somewhat soon. Looks like we have another fishing dock here on the go, too. Yeah, it'd be nice to clear this whole uh, this whole build order out. As Andre, uh in the last episode commented, looking at the build order reminds me of uh, Tavern and Cathedral me Mega Project in Foundation. Yes, 
a, a stream I'm hoping to get back to, but it's literally impossible because I'm. It's going to take forever to build uh, the the cathedral. But don't worry, I'm definitely going to play that game again soon. In this area, though, I think it might be nice to do a little city uh, garden here because um, I'm not sure how much of this space is you know is going to be used. Right. So what we could do is build out sort of a triangle kind of thing like this and uh, from here as well I kind of want to change the angle a little bit though so it's like kind of comes out like this and that then we have a uh, let's do oops right here let's do like a small archway Right, and then this fence, we'll actually delete this one and kind of line that up a little nicer. Uh, one day I'll remember what fence this is. I think this is four. Yes. So that connects up to this guy. This one connects up to here. Then it can carry on this way. I think this is gonna be okay. Oh, I suppose we kind of want it to be, to pinch off there, don't we, a little bit? So we'll just kind of go here, fence four, bring it out. There. There's like a nice sort of deliberate structure where you can walk by the fence or you can walk through here and go into the trading area. Yeah, I like it. And then I think uh, this area's got some pine and, and spruce trees, so maybe we'll continue on that like little, you know, quote unquote, tradish, with one like here, there, then uh, maybe a pine tree or two. Now, what else could we put in there? Anything that? What's the one we build the least? I think we build the birch tree the least. Um, places occupied. So we could put a birch tree right there. Then I think we should fill this with some dog rose bushes. That's a little tight in that space there. So we'll do something like this, this, something up here. Yeah, I like these like splitting, uh, splitting boulevards is kind of nice. I don't know if this is a design. I'm sure I've seen this somewhere. I haven't made this up. And then it's just more bench spots, you know? More spots for nice little uh, resting points, especially near, you know, so much hullaboo. I'm sure you want to, like, relax for a bit sometimes. So we'll rotate this guy a little bit here. And there. There, that's it. Now, that just looks nice. Once those trees come into, that's going to fill in that space there and just make that look a little more deliberate. Looks like we've missed some bushes and stuff here. So I'm going to do like a couple of, like a pine tree there, like a little cluster of pine trees. If I'm allowed, not too close to the water. Uh, I don't want them to look like they're in a lineup. So then we'll do that and we'll do uh, some rose bush, dog rose, whatever's. <laughs> do a little cluster there. That looks nice. Oh, well, looks like I forgot this area too. My goodness, what, did I, what was I doing? I was asleep at the wheel here. Oh yeah, that looks really nice in the uh, in the summer there. That's great. Okay, this whole boulevard here is coming along quite nicely. Can't wait till that fills in. Uh, hopefully they can reach all those trees and plant them. And that's going to look very, very good. Increasing the amount of builders we have has definitely had a, a somewhat positive effect on our building speed, which is good. That's kind of the main thing that we need to be working on right now. And you can already see in the distance, supplies are being delivered for our windmill. I'll need to get, get going on these houses a lot sooner, I think, uh, than anything else. Maybe even this, we'll move this new community up in uh, importance as well, because if I try to run a windmill uh, and our stone uh, mining camp, and what do we have? <laughs> oh dear. Uh, it's hard to tell right now because I think it's harvesting season, but we have a lot of open vacancies to fill. So I just, I think we can afford it. I think we can feed all of these various mouths. I was also looking through and I've now decided to up my orders. And now I'm getting a lot of onions uh, brought in as well that I can sell. Uh, hopefully in an effort to increase the food security and spread out the goods for all. 
a wagon leaves town after delivering the uh, Solyaniks. Uh, they will. They are unemployed now, but don't worry, they will have jobs soon enough. The harvest seems to be going okay. Looks like our wheat field growth got uh, hampered there, so we're not going to get a lot of wheat out of this this year. That's interesting. I wonder if it's. Uh, I wonder what it is. That's not great. Maybe it just got. Uh, yeah, it looks like their growth is somewhat curtailed. So again, I do feel that we are low on people, and that's what's causing a problem with our harvests here. But that wheat harvest is uh, is not looking like it's going to be very good. So that's going to be a problem. Over here, the wheat harvest did a little better, but not by much. Hopefully that's still enough to keep our burgeoning population of chickens alive, and of course all our humans. Looking over the resources here, our uh, wheat harvest is almost all in, but yeah, it was not great. This was not a great year for wheat. I need more staff before I even think about building another farm. Hopefully, uh, I'm going to have to keep an eye on this so that they don't uh, mill all of the wheat. Uh, I'm sure there's current batch progress. Okay, I'm sure there's some limits we can do. Uh, resource supply, storage capacity of 1,000. Okay, we'll, we'll keep an eye on it, but... Uh, having flour coming in is certainly a nice thing. It's going to lead to some more... Uh, I don't even think there's a bakery yet. I guess everybody just bakes at home, I suppose. I think the idea is that maybe bakeries were more of a industrial thing? I'm not sure. At any rate, we don't have a bakery to build, so I assume the flour is the end resource for that production chain. Uh, and we will be able to hold some of it here and sell it. I'm also bringing it over to the uh, uh, granary here. And then we'll have to assign somebody to sell it as well. Do we have any doubles? Uh, somebody's selling fish, firewood, we a bucket of chicken eggs. We might just stop selling buckwheat and move over to selling, uh, moving over to selling flour, I think could be a good idea. Uh, at least for a little bit, we'll make some money off of that. I'm sure a family will move into this home very soon. Everything's still holding on in the green. No religious buildings required at this point. Well, that's all right because we are going to build one anyway. But once we get a family in here, that's pretty good. And I believe one more left, and then we'll move on to these homes down here. It has made me think, though, this area here is not ideal for a farm. I'm going to demolish this farm. We're going to get rid of that farm because what I'd like to do is build another, house, another block of housing here. However, this little spot here, I want to leave open, potentially, for, uh, like, I don't know, if we can get a couple of homes in here but leave enough spot, enough space open for like a little marketplace. That's kind of the dream. So let's go uh, here. Actually, we might even just leave it like that, isn't it? That's pretty good. So we'll go uh, just about there and place that house. And then I think that will give us enough space where we can sneak in a small little um, market area right here. Uh, I won't build it just yet, but this is that's kind of the dream for that space there. At which point we can then have this house kind of come out a little bit more. Uh, so let's uh, kind of do this here and then hit F1 because I kind of want to. I like it when it's when I can see all of the the various shapes that we're dealing with here. I actually kind of want that to come forward, don't I? It's a shame that it doesn't. You can't actually latch it on though. So we could do that, but it might end up making like a weird double fence if I'm not careful. So we could do something like this. Basically, I just want to make a smaller street here uh, to help reinforce the idea that that's some market space. So if I move this house, yeah, there we go. See, that's buildable. Okay. So then we'll do something like this to give a little bit of privacy to the market. And then this is like quite a sizable yard, I would say, for this house. So that's going to create this little indent here in which I can create a couple of market stalls and maybe a, uh, a well or something like that. If needed, we can put some houses here. So we'll start construction on that. I'm going to get another house in right here. Um, I think we'll go about, yeah, it's like a fairly big one, I guess. Now, at this point, this is when uh, the farm can come back in. I basically, I just think we were a little uh, too early on the construction of the farm. And we'll put this house like right at the back just for fun. So that creates enough space there that I can, th I think we can then place down the farm. I don't know that we'll build it just yet though. Uh, oh, it's quite big, isn't it? Oh, that's all right. What we can do is something like, 
Uh, I kind of don't want that entrance to be that, though. We could do this, perhaps. Something like this. Then, that gives us another little indent with which to build something. We'll, we'll come up with something there. That could actually have the, a well or something. It would be a good idea to have a well there. So that fits right there. There we go. It's hard to plan a little bit. We, uh, you know, when you click on things in Space Haven, it brings up what it'll eventually look like, which is nice. But I bet I can get a small house on a, a, a diagonal here. Uh, and then, of course, build a nice little boardwalk here if I wanted. Um, but this little area, once it's built in, is going to look quite nice. But that's spots for three more families as well as these three here. So I think that's important right now, uh, given the crunch for labor that we have. Still four open jobs for the ladies, eight for the men. Having this windmill here is fantastic, and I normally would decorate with trees, obviously, but I don't think it makes sense to have trees around a windmill. I think it needs to be open to get the most wind. I mean, I'm I'm no expert. Uh, but designing some, like, like, laying out some stuff like maybe a hay barrack or something would be kind of cool. So I figured we'd do that. Um, I don't think that gets in the way too much, although it might fill up with hay. I don't know. I don't... Look, it's just an aesthetics thing. Okay. We'll put a hay barrack here, and eventually that'll get filled up as well. But uh, I think some fencing could be good. Some fencing that somewhat matches the look of the uh, surrounding farmland. So I believe that's the fence I don't use them uh, very much at all. Actually, do I use pretty much all of them? There it is. That's the fence I don't use. <laughs> and you can, you can probably tell why. Because it... Sucks. It's fine. It's a fine fence. Kind of want the wood on the outside. Oh man, is that what level of <laughs> um I don't know what you call that neuroses is really wanting to make sure that the slats of the wood are on the outside like that. All right, where is the? Okay, here we go. So we'll do something here. Basically, my thinking here is like, yeah, you're gonna want to have some room around it, uh, so that people don't, you know, you don't want like. Uh, kids or something, like, getting too close to the windmill. We'll go like this. That's good. Uh, I like, yeah, you tap it in, in the footprint first, and it gives you a good sense of where you can start. Something like this, like that. And then a little bit here, just to really rough in this uh, windmill. I like to think that, yeah, like the safety standards in Solid Hammer are high. That's why they're like, ugh, the safety standards are crazy. You, you got to put a fence around the windmill. But it'll pay off in the future when we save some kids from getting windmilled in the face. And we'll put a couple of benches here. Just You know, this is a very luxurious town. Maybe it's even like a hardworking farming slash retirement community. There we are. Just around the corner, another house is coming into play. Looking good. Now, we do have a worker here working in the stone mining uh, camp, but I have noticed he's done some stone mining of stone, but he's also gone all the way across the map to go get this limestone. So I might actually set the limestone limits here to, like, I don't know. like I mean, what is he bringing back? How much is he bringing? Let's just cap it once he brings it back, I think. Yeah, so let's set that to 100. We certainly... Uh, can I get it lower? There we go. We certainly don't want him going all the way back out there, and I would rather him load up on uh, the nearby stone uh, instead. But instead, Oleksandir is a little upset with me making him walk all that way, so he's taking a rest. That's all right. We'll get him working back on the stone, uh, and that's going to be ready for us, because once these houses are done, it's time to start working on this church. I can't tell if this is new, but it's November now. We're coming up on fall, and I'm noticing some of the ground is changing here in, this, in these little patches. That is very cool. I don't think I've seen that before. God, this game never ceases to amaze. Look how beautiful that is. Tragedy strikes December 1728, and a family moves out because they cannot get enough shoes on the market. Um, this is a problem. So if shoes are starting to come into uh, need, eh, we're gonna have uh, we're, we're gonna have to be careful because we're gonna start to have a turnaround of people. Like when people leave, somebody else is gonna move into the house. So that's okay. This is the shoemaker's workshop, but I believe that the shoemaker needs leather. So I'm either gonna have to start buying it, 
or what is that 1800 it needs 1800 of something I can't see what that is what is that need that must be is that clay I think that's clay uh, yeah, I think that must be clay. At any rate, we're going to need to either start buying some leather or figure out how to make it. And I don't think making it is in the cards for us just yet. And I don't think it's going to be very cheap uh, to buy it either. So uh, let's see. How many other homes and families are needing shoes? I don't see anybody else complaining about shoes. Can't they just order them from Amazon? I know I said I was going to build the shoemaker in kind of this area here, but this spot uh, is looking increasingly not going to be used by me, so to speak. Uh, it's right near the trade thing and the cart shed. This is a pretty good spot, I think, to deliver uh, goods enough to make uh, some shoes here. It's just kind of a matter of where I want to place this shoe, the cobbler's shop. Um, pretty bare on all sides and then a nice little entrance, but maybe that entrance should face the main street. So we'll have something like this here, uh, and then pull it back a little bit. I think we'll just place it right there. So the Shoemaker's Workshop will be something that we kind of build soon, I guess. Oh, man, we got to build everything. Uh, however, I think uh, we can deprioritize some of these houses now. So why don't we move our Shoemaker's Workshop above the houses? Let's move the church, which is my goal today, above the house. The cart shed, the fishing dock, that oil workshop. Yeah, a lot of this stuff is very important, though, so we better not lean back on our haunches too much. The other issue I'm having is a financial one. 780 gold doubloons left. We have not done very much trading. In fact, we did no trading in the last year. But without trade, we still we ran shy about 430 bucks. So that's not terrible. That tells me that we have another year or two before we're out of money. So as long as we're careful. Uh, however, I do need to spend some of that uh, buying locals food. And then I'm going to need... Let's think about this. I'm going to need to uh, buy some leather, probably. So realistically, I only have a year if I stay the course. Uh, however, I do have a lot of charcoal ready to sell. I forget who it was. But they did not need it this year. Um, let's take a look here. World map. I think it was Derkachi. So I could send for 80 bucks, though. That is a lot. That is a risky send to send a messenger all the way out there. We could check some of the nearby ones. That one only costs 20 bucks. Oh, it's by river, though. Marefa is a $95 test to see if they want any charcoal. I think we might have to just keep waiting it out and see if the increasing homes will pay out a bit more tax. They did okay last year. We got 500 doubloons from them, 580 out of local sales. And these are uh, much higher than previous years. So we are trending in the right direction. We just need to keep that trend going. In the dead of winter, our oil uh, workshop is built. I think I'll hire at least uh, one fella there and start working on sunflower oil because I believe that's something that we can frequently sell at many places. So we'll have an, a standing order of, let's say, a thousand sunflower oil at the uh, main trading dock. We haven't gotten this thing up and running yet, even though I've <laughs> hired a manager for it, I suppose. Um, that's probably costing me a lot of money, isn't it? I am definitely hemorrhaging money here, so we do need to make some pretty spicy trades in the next little while. But things are certainly looking fairly nice. I believe the Shoemaker's Workshop is next, but really, uh, I'm going to ignore that warning. Um, it's there. It's it's getting built. We're sending resources to it. That's fine. I think I'd like to see this church up and running, even though it's not necessary yet. These are a religious folk, and they want to know that they have the peace of mind of their church nearby. And hopefully, maybe that'll make them stop complaining about their shoes. A visitor from Maratha is visiting, and they do want some flour. We have 1,200 of that, so I'm going to sell 1,000 flour. That's going to get us a decent amount of money. Well, 150 bucks, but that's better than nothing. And then we do have some sunflowers, so I guess we might as well sell those. We'll send 1,000 of those for another $100. It's these small trades that will clean us out a little bit, but uh, it's what we need to do to keep surviving. So we're going to do that for now. It'll be nice to get some... Oh, we do have some in export stock, so we could sell that. Let's sell 600 of that for another 100 doubloons. So that's a, a, a lot of hefty trades coming in. We'll hire another person to work here then. Um, a lot of hefty trades to go out and hopefully... Oh, wait. How much did I sell of the sunflowers? We need to up that to 1,000 then. 
and be ready to receive that uh, so that we, they don't get mad at us. And we do need a thousand of the flour here as well, which, oh, where was I putting that? Uh, a thousand flour in here, so we don't have a thousand flour yet. Why don't we stop storing wheat here and let's sell and store some flour and to the tune of a thousand of it. It said we had a thousand, so we just need to locate that thousand. With the resources delivered, it's 18, uh, 1729 April, eight years from when the settlement started, and a beautiful stone edifice is rising from the ground, our first church. Can't wait to see it. The residents may not have shoes, but seeing this, uh, this beautiful structure coming out of the ground must surely put hope in their hearts. Just look at that thing. Oh, I can't wait. I really love seeing the scaffolding structure and how much thought is put into this by the devs. Like if you scroll around to this side here, you can see the ramps kind of uh, coming up and around it. This one gets to the third or the second floor, I guess. Uh, and it seems to be like you would come onto it from this part right here and walk onto this one to get up to this next floor. But like this sort of scaffolding structure is just like, oh wait, did he get all his food? Is he happy? 600 sunflower oil. We could do better than that, can't we? Oh dear. <laughs> World map. Did everybody get their resources? We do have a decent amount of money here, so we must have sold, in tr exported, we exported about 330 doubloons, which means that put us into the green. Thank goodness for this year. However, um, maybe not our full, the full orders that I promised. Let's see here. 970 flour, close. 800 sunflowers and uh, 600 sunflower oil. So that o this oil factory already really really pulling its weight so you like where we're happy with that that's that's uh, quite a good uh, piece of infrastructure that we've added to solid ham this episode the beautiful cross is risen above the bell tower and this thing is certainly coming together looking very nice and only a few more i don't know what this part is i believe these green uh, cues up here are effort and then these are the resources being consumed that have been delivered. We still, that's all we have left, but that's all we need, I think, as all the stonework is in the foundation. Uh, it is looking very good in there, and I believe as of one of the recent hot fixes uh, that they talked about on the, on the, in the store page there, uh, this building will in fact require a priest to operate. I wonder what kind of bonuses we'll get from that, but uh, if not, it'll be at least nice to see a little priest, hopefully some little priest garb walking around this beautiful village. Surely God is smiling upon us because a messenger from Derkachi, which we must remember, they're the ones that like charcoal, has come to visit us. They need charcoal, and we have charcoal. They need 8,000, and what do we have in stock? 8,000. So we're going to do that deal, obviously, uh, and that is very much going to help us. But in the meantime, our church has been constructed. You can see these beautiful windows here. Look at this. Oh, this is a building I have been waiting for episodes to see built knowing that we needed some more infrastructure before we could get there. It is now built right in the center of a fairly beautiful town. And next to it is a expansive uh, cemetery, which you know that I tend to build in, my, in these games. However, none of the plots are even used yet. I have not had any deaths in this town. I've had a lot of people move out. But hey, surely when they see this beautiful church, they will think twice about moving out. Now, we don't have a priest yet. Uh is required to grow beyond 300. Okay, a priest with his family will move in as soon as construction is completed. So we'll probably need a house for this priest uh, to move into, but we'll get to building those right away. This thing is looking absolutely beautiful, and it is perfectly at home here in Solid Ham, with the new community that we built this episode sprouting up behind it. Some more houses and a, a market going in here. That's going to look really nice with the windmill in the background. I think next what we need to do is finish that farm, but also start working on some uh, some cows, maybe. Maybe we need to worry about cows before we get to our pigs, because uh, we're going to need some leather if we intend to supply even the most basic of needs, I guess, like shoes. <laughs> I mean, also I could buy them. I want another 44 charcoal. We're going to sell them another 44 charcoal. But this, uh, this is the real money maker coming out here, so that's going to put us in the green for a long time to come here in Solid Ham. I hope you found this episode to be some truly solid and nice and calm content. And uh, if you liked it, well, let me know in the comments. And if you didn't like it, well, there's other stuff to watch on YouTube, so go look at that. <laughs> look at him admiring it. 
Olexia. Are you our new... Or are you just visiting the church? Okay, good. That'll hopefully make you happy and give you a boost to your happiness. And hopefully I gave you guys a little... Oh, look at that! They, like, um, do the sign of the cross before entering. That is really nice attention to detail. Hopefully they exit happy. Surely they must. Well, I'm hoping you're exiting happy as well. And I hope to see you in the next episode of Ostrieve. Until then, we'll see you later.